Hey everybody, DJ Lou here, and we're gonna talk a bit of tech on this one. We're opening up a Maui 5 Go battery. All right, everybody, before we start the video, please navigate down, hit that subscribe button, make sure you ding that notification bell as well. Also, make sure to like the video, and please, if you wanna support the channel, head over to my Patreon page and subscribe. Now, first, everybody, don't go doing this at home. Um, what I am going to be doing is taking a Maui 5 Go battery that actually broke on me a couple years ago. We're gonna explore the innards and see what we can find out of it. Now, um, these are built really well. And the reason mine end up breaking is it took a number of falls really um, on really hard dirt and ultimately on concrete before you know, just the plastic just broke. It can only take so much. It wasn't meant to fall over in the first place. And, you know, just luck had it, big gust of wind caught it just a little bit before a ceremony. I come out and I see it just busted. I'll see if I can put a picture here of what I came, uh, you know, ran up to when I saw that. And of course, my heart sank. And I was, of course, able to run with my other Maui 5 Go and life was fine for that particular event. But it was still a bit disheartening that I was going to have to, you know, replace this. Luckily... LD Systems came through, they warranted it, they sent me out a new one, I got it literally I think within like 48 hours or something like that. So kudos to of course Ben Stowe from NLFX where I bought mine from and the fine people at LD Systems to make sure that I got a replacement. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here just off to my side where I finally put together an overhead rig where we're going to dissect this apart on a table and really get into the nit and gritty of all of this. Hopefully you'll enjoy kind of looking at the innards of this. All right, everybody, welcome to the new rig. This gives us a new top-down look of anything that I would like to put on this table. And what we're gonna put here right now is the Maui 5 Go battery. Now this is my working one. Um, and just a note for everybody, keep your batteries conditioned, especially for the past year that we've had. You want to cycle these every now and then so that way you're keeping your batteries well conditioned um, for the next and upcoming season. Anything up lights, your, uh, anything basically with a rechargeable battery, keep these in check. But again, this is my working one. Um, so what we're going to do is put this back off to the side. And now we're going to grab the busted one. Now we're left with the base here. Of course, you have your pins coming into it and all the circuitry uh, to go with it. We're going to throw that here. And we got a couple uh, you know, removable connectors here. We can go ahead and for safety's sake, now oh, that's on there really, really good. Things logically placed out there. Now, we have, of course, the batteries themselves. If we look through here. This is the pass through to go to your top. And we need to get a torque screw, specifically a T20, to open this up. There we go with that. It is just a simple plastic protector here. So I'm going to throw this off to the side. And we've got our batteries here. Let's flip this back around. Um, and just a warning, this still does have a charge and lithium ion is something you never want to screw with. So be careful, everybody. Battery came out just as easy. Again, here is what the battery stock uh, looks like um, out in the wild. So let's look at these parts individually. First off, of course, we have the base. And um, this did um, ultimately break off from this. Um, but again, you can see where the uh, where it kind of split there. That was after a number of falls. So this actually, I think, held up really, really well. Um, the um, every, all the wiring. You know, this all looks really, really high quality. Nothing really seems to be out of place. We have column connectors. So they're actually printing their own boards here. Um, just really, you know, the kind of quality that I would expect from a part like this. So this is definitely something really good. 
Of course, we have our shell here. Um, we have our battery indicator that runs up. Of course, all connects into our base here. And uh, again, they did a really good job. Everything was uh, run really clean. They put some foam around it so it won't uh, touch the battery in this case and overheat um, you know, and melt the wires or anything like that. So I think they did a really good job assembling that. And of course we have the plate itself. Um, these are probably some holes to actually allow for some airflow uh, to help with the battery. Of course we have the grill itself. Very good, you know, this isn't flimsy. There is a little bend on it, but again, it fell a number of times, but this is definitely of a very good quality build. And then we have the battery. So this is listed as six packs. So I'm assuming there's six lithium ion batteries in here. I'm not sure what this 186508S2P is. Um, it is rated at 29.6 volts, uh, 5.2 amp hours, and an 153.92 watt hours. This is actually pretty decent. Uh, for capacity. And if we were to uh, do some really simple math, if you get 10 hours of life out of this, which is ultimately what I got at around 70 to 80% output, then I would put the nominal output somewhere around that 70 to 80% at about 15 watts. I would say probably closer to like maybe 17 or maybe even 18 watts completely maxed out. We have the model number in this was SP05001. And yes, of course, there's cautions and all this on this because this is lithium ion. Please, people, do not play with these batteries. They can and will explode. So be cautious. It is lithium ion. But, you know, this has, you know, there's a little bit of weight to this, of course. There seems to be a circuit board under here with some additional winds of the, uh, the, the wires. And I'm curious if this might also be used in future products. Uh, they built these with a little bit of extra to work with those. So something interesting about that. But that is it. All that equals a fully assembled battery. And again, this isn't that heavy considering that you're getting somewhere around 10 hours of uh, use out of this per battery. So there's the video, everybody. I really hope you like this a little bit more interesting deep dive tech wise. And if you do, you know, make sure you hit that thumbs up, comment below, help that algorithm out. Naturally, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell to make sure you get all the updates. Head over to my Patreon page and subscribe. You know, that will definitely help out the channel. And naturally, if you want to see more like this, check out everything else I have on my site. Be well, be safe, everybody.